Right now in downtown Lincoln, art enthusiasts are celebrating the first first Friday artwork of the new year. It happens at the beginning of each month throughout the year. Our Lance Schwartz joins us now with more on the first Friday festivities. Lance? Hi guys, Megan, welcome to Lincoln. Thank you. It's only appropriate. It's the first <laughs> Friday for you to anchor. There you go. It all makes sense. Back when Ann Burkholder was just setting up shop in the Haymarket area in the late 80s, she was also involved with other galleries in Minneapolis and Kansas City. And when she saw firsthand the success that those big city galleries were having with First Friday events, she decided to replicate their monthly get-togethers here in Lincoln. 28 years later, it is a full-fledged capital city tradition. It's almost like a, a community event and um, a wonderful time to come out and see art and sometimes there's live music. Even back in 1988, Ann Burkholder would start the year off with a special show that would allow established artists the opportunity to welcome in newcomers to the Lincoln art scene. What we did was um, invited other artists, every artist in the building and turned around and invited another artist to join us in this one January show. And so this show has been going on for 28 years also. Jeff, these are absolutely wonderful and I'd like to welcome you to the first, first Friday of 2016. The piecing and putting together and solving a puzzle of quilt work was very appealing and I was drawn to it. Laura Simpson so has I been perfecting her fabric-based artwork in a studio at the Burkholder Project for the past year. It's an honor to be down here at the Burkholder, uh, to be able to have a space where I can devote to artwork and then um, to display in addition to that is, is great. Laura took the opportunity to invite her friend Jeff Briggs to the first show of the year. It's really amazing to see the work on, on the wall. Um, thank you so much for coming down and participating with me with uh, the Artist Choosing Artist show. Well, it's been interesting because I, I mean, I started an interest in photography when I was maybe in my early teens and for some reason or another, put it aside for a long time. But a couple of decades later, this Lincoln Southeast grad has rekindled his relationship with the camera. It's really taken off and I, I wish I would have stayed with it for a long time, you know, previously and, and I'm uh, really enjoying it now. Jeff's dream now is to become a professional photographer. On my own accord, I probably would have never done this, but um, thanks to Laura for inviting me down to this, it, it gives me a chance to really kind of step out of my comfort zone and um, you know, print actual images versus just you know putting them online in the digital domain. And what better place to, to show your art than at the Burkholder Project? Um, so it's it's a very unique and special opportunity. First Friday is already underway at the Burkholder Project, and they'll be open till about eight tonight. And for fur further reference, the hours do vary from gallery to gallery, but it's usually about five o'clock till 9 or 10. And you want, might want to do yourself a favor and check out that eye candy tonight or at any other first Friday night this year and set some time aside because there are 15 different galleries down there you want to check out. Beautiful pictures. Absolutely. Gorgeous. That guy's got some skills. Good, he? yeah. And you got a little bit of a history with him. Yeah, uh, Jeff is an old fraternity brother of mine. Awesome. I saw him popping up a few pictures of sunsets a couple years ago and he progressed and progressed and I'm so thrilled for him. He's in a gallery tonight, loving awesome. it, and it's great for Jeff. <laughs> yeah, great accomplishment. Definitely. Thanks for so sure. much, Lance. Appreciate it. We'll be back to update your forecast next.